Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, did Jesus really give authority to St. Peter? And Jesus answering said to him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, because flesh and blood hath not revealed it to thee, but my Father who is in heaven. And I say to thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Matthew sixteen seventeen to 18 This is the main verse that's usually used to defend the view that Jesus intended for St. Peter to be the new head of his church. However, in response to this verse, one commenter said that when Jesus said rock, he didn't mean Peter himself. Instead, he was referring to the faith that Peter showed when he believed that Jesus was the Son of God. I've heard this said before, but this is an insufficient explanation for a couple of reasons. The primary one, for me, is that right after the aforementioned verse comes the following. And I will give to thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind upon earth, it shall be bound also in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose upon earth, it shall be loosed also in heaven. Matthew 16:19. You do not give keys to faith. You give them to a person. The authority to bind and loose is given to Peter in this verse, and it's this one, I think, which presents the stronger argument. You see, the keys aren't intended to be the keys to the church. They're meant to represent authority. In ancient times, and especially in the Davidic kingship, which Jesus carries on as the son of David, there was a man who bore the keys to the city, and he had the authority to act in the king's place in ordinary matters, though he was still fully under the king's command. The purpose of Jesus giving Peter the keys is to appoint him to an important position. It's also been said that the church is non-physical, and I agree, to an extent. Individual church buildings are physical, but the church as such is metaphysical. However, that doesn't mean that it's unreal or can't be recognized by its properties. It certainly can be. The central property is faithfulness to the teachings of Jesus. For example, those found in John chapter 6, respect for the authority of Jesus and thus for his appointees, is also a key ingredient. Nevertheless, just because the church as a whole may be non-physical, it doesn't follow that Jesus didn't give authority to specific people. One might just as well say that a president isn't a specific person, since America isn't a static group of people. The final objection that I've heard against the authority of Peter is that Peter sinned many times. But just being appointed to a position of authority doesn't make one sinless. King Saul in the Old Testament is a clear example of this fact, so the objection doesn't work. So in closing, we have good reasons to think that St. Peter was really appointed to a position of major authority by Jesus. Next, does the Catholic Church forbid us to believe in evolution? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.